August 24th. The 25th. Of course, the 25th of August. Psalm 86. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me. For I am afflicted and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am a godly man. O you, my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you I cry all day long. Make glad the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are God, good and ready to forgive and abundant in loving kindness to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and give heed to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I shall call upon you, and you will answer me. There is no one like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and they shall glorify your name, for you are great and do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and will glorify your name forever, for your loving kindness toward me is great, and you have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, arrogant men have risen up against me, and a band of violent men have sought me my life. And they have not yet they have not set you before them, but you, O Lord, are God, merciful and gracious slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness and truth. Turn to me and be gracious to me, O oh, oh, grant your strength to your servant and save the son of your handmaid. Show me a sign for good that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, O oh Lord, have helped me and comforted me. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judea, transcribed. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the glory of kings is to search it out. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver, and there comes out a vessel for the smith. Take away the wicked before the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Do not claim honor in the presence of the king, and do not stand in the place of great men. For it is better that it be said to you, Come up here, than for you to be placed lower in the presence of the prince, whom your eyes have seen. Do not go out hastily to argue your case, otherwise what will you do in the end? When your neighbor humiliates you, argue your case with your neighbor, and do not reveal the secret of another. Or he who hears it will reproach you, and the evil report about you will not pass away. Like apples of gold and settings of silver, as a word spoken in right circumstances. Like an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold, is a wise reprover to a listening ear. Like the cold of snow in the time of harvest, is a faithful messenger to those who send him. For he refreshes the soul of his matchers. Like clouds and wind, without rain, is a man who boasts of his gifts falsely. By forbearance, a ruler may be persuaded, and a soft tongue breaks the bone. Have you found honey? Eat only what you need, that you not have an excess and vomit it. Let your foot rarely be in your neighbor's house, or he will become weary of you and hate you. Like a club and a sword and a sharp arrow is a man who bears false witness against his neighbor. Like a bad tooth and an unsteady foot is a confidence is confidence in a faithless man in time of trouble. Like one who takes off a garment on a cold day, or like vinegar on southern is he who sings songs to a troubled heart. If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat, and if he's thirsty, give him water to drink. For you will heap burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. The north wind brings forth rain, and a backbiting tongue, and an angry countenance. It is better to live in a corner of the roof than in a house shared with a contentious woman. Like cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a distant land. Like a trampled spring in a polluted well is a righteous man who gives away before the wicked. It is not good to eat much honey, nor is it glory to search one out one's own glory. Like a city that is broken into and without walls is a man who has no control over his spirit. John 
15. I am a true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, cleans. I don't know if I read that. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, so that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. So neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him. He bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up, and they gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples, just as the Father has loved me. I have also loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things which I have spoken to you, so that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be made full. This is my commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. Greater love is no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends for all things that I have made, have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you would go and bear fruit, and that your fruit would remain, so that whatever you ask of the Father in me, in my name, he will give to you. This I command you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you, if you were on of the world, the world would love its own, but because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this, the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they keep my command, if they kept my word, they would keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned, but now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have both seen and hated me and my father as well. But they have done this to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without cause. When the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, that is the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify about me. And you will testify also because you have been with me from the beginning. John 16. These things I have spoken to you so that you may be kept from stumbling. They will make you outcast from the synagogue, but an hour is coming for everyone who kills you to think that he is offering service to God. These things they will do because they have not known the Father or me, but these things I have spoken to you so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you of them. These things I did not say to you at the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. But I tell you the truth, it is your advantage that I go away, for it is I did not go away, the Helper will not come to you, but if I go, I will send him to you. And he, when he comes, will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me, and concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father and you no longer see me. And concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world has been judged. I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. 
For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of mine and will disclose it to you. All things that the Father has of him are mine. Therefore I said that he takes of mine and will disclose it to you. A little while, and you will no longer see me, and again a little while, and you will see me. Some of his disciples then said to one another, What is this thing he is telling us? A little while, and you will not see me, and a little while longer, and you will see me, and because I go to the Father. So they were saying, What is this that he says a little while? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wished to question him, and he said to them, Are you deliberating? deliberating together about this that I said a little while and you will not see me and again a little while and you will see me <clears throat> truly truly I say to you that you will weep and lament but the world will rejoice you will grieve but your grief will be turned into joy whenever a woman is in labor she has pain because her hour has come but when she gives birth to the child she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy that a child has been born into the world Therefore, you too have grief now, but I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from you. And that day you will not question me about anything. Truly, truly, I say to you, if you ask the Father for anything in my name, he will give it to you. Until now you have asked for nothing in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be made full. These things that I have spoken to you in figurative language, an hour is coming when I will longer speak to you in figurative language, but will tell you plainly of the Father. And that day you will ask in my name, and I do not say to you that I will request the Father on your behalf. For the Father himself loves you, because you have lived, loved me and have believed that I come forth from the Father. I came forth from the Father and have come into the world. I am leaving the world again and coming to the Father. His disciples said, Lo, now you are speaking plainly and are not using a figurative of speech. Now we know that you know all things and all, and have no need for anyone to question you. By this we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? Behold, an hour is coming, and it has already come for you to be scattered, each to his own home, and to leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken to you, so that in, my, in me you may have faith, peace, in the world, you have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. John. 